What's up, Everyday Blades? Man, sorry, it's been a while. Um, had to go into the hospital and have some testing, and you know how that goes. That's a drawn out deal, and trying to work in between is stretch my time pretty thin, but I'm back. And I made it up to you. I got some good stuff to show you. So, no secret, I'm a Shiro Goral fan, right? <clears throat> so, my very first Shiro was the F95, and that's what made me fall in love. The F95 NL, which stands for inlay, made me fall in love with Shiro Goroff. Then, I got the zero and oh the neon zero oh man what a knife so of course that led me to want an f95 zero which is what we're talking about today and man this knife is unbelievable it's you know you you build a lot of hype around a knife and you want it for a long time and these are not knives you can go buy off a shelf you got to chase these things down and be just at the right spot. And the time that one comes available is not going to be the time you have the money for it. You're not going to be ready for it. You just got to get it anyway. Because when you do get the money, it's not going to be available, right? It's <laughs> the definition of the irresponsibility <clears throat> that we live in in this collecting uh, adventure. So I am definitely glad I stepped on a limb and got this one because... The reason that I wasn't in a financial position to get it when it came up is because I had just got my Grail knife, my Evo, my original Evo. And that knife is the most expensive knife I've ever bought. <clears throat> and I didn't just trade for it. I had to trade plus 50% uh, cash. So it, it put a dent in my buying power. Uh, but I'm so, so glad I did that. I got lucky too. This one was brand new. Uh, the guy had just purchased it and, you know, it was, a just a thing where he didn't, it didn't, wasn't for him or he didn't really give me a reason, but it was, he told me it was new. He had just bought it and he was right. It's a hundred percent. But I wanted to talk about <clears throat> something that I ran into with the, the new share of when I get them. So when I first get them. If you touch anywhere on that lock bar, when you go to open it, it ain't opening. You'll snap your index finger off trying to open it. I mean, just barely touching it. So I figured out on the F95, I always knew that relieving the lock bar pressure would fix a lot of that. And on the F95, that's not a big deal. There's a screw there. But on the neons, there's no screw. There's a trick to that, and I'll, I'll reveal that in the... A later um, video when I talk about the neon I have a, a new neon I want to go over but right now we're talking about the F95 which I believe is the the signature knife for Shiragorov as far as their production line. I can't speak to the customs I've never had one I mean I, I've seen them on up into the ten thousands and I'm, I'm that's just out of my market I can't afford that uh, don't don't know if they're worth it or not I'm sure they are because people buy them Anytime a Shiragorov goes for sale, it sells. They just build quality knives. I wish they would do a cage bearing system, but you know, even that, that's what kept me from buying a Shiragorov for a couple of years was the fact that there were loose bearings and I didn't want to deal with it. Well, once I got it, it's not that big of a deal, but, it, but still it would be nicer with cage bearings, but maybe it wouldn't be as smooth. But anyway, when I got this one, it was the same way. If you're touching anywhere on that lock bar, I mean, if you're just putting a shadow on the lock bar, the thing's not opening. But if you're off of it, it opened pretty decent, right? <clears throat> so I tuned it up, and uh, that may be the reason the guy got rid of it. I don't know. But I, I tuned it up, relieved the lock bar pressure, got the grease out of the bearings, and put oil in them like I do all of them. And man, she's butter. You can touch that lock bar anywhere you want to, and she flies open. And I think if you're new to Shiragorov, you may not know that. And if you buy one and it, you know, it gives you trouble, just know it can be tuned to the amazing knife we all know. Now, I think <clears throat> essentially what I'm doing is, is skipping the break-in process because I think the break-in process would achieve the same thing, right? Um, but, I mean, who wants to wait all that time when you can have this thing perfect? I mean, it's 
no lock rock. I mean, it's just perfect. Now, I've had other Shirogorovs where it took a couple of times tuning it to get it right, but this one was just one and done. Uh, several of my other ones have been one and done. Just, just take the lock bar stabilizer out, push it back just a little bit, relieve a little bit of the pressure, get the grease out of the bearings, put some lightweight oil in there, clean everything up, put it back together, and man, she's cherry. She's perfect. So let's look at some. Uh, so let's look at the card first. This is a F ninety five zero and M three ninety titanium multi row bearing system, and then serial number. <clears throat> so let's look at some size comparisons. This is the F95 NL. Now I know the uh, Shirogorov Neon Zero, or I've seen in the group that the Shirogorov, and this is absolutely right, the Shirogorov Neon Zero is a little bit larger than the Shirogorov Neon. And they're absolutely right about that. See that? It's just a hair longer. That's cool. That's a cool fact I didn't know. I thought they were like the same knife because they're both neons. Uh, I don't see that with the F95. They seem to be the exact same length. So it, it's it's really just a, an F95 with a clean zero scale. Uh, also, this one has single row bearing system. This one has multi row bearing system. Um just a great knife overall it almost seems like maybe the blade may be just a hair longer but that may be an optical illusion if it is it's just by a little bit so <clears throat> let's look at some regular knives to kind of give you a size comparison there is a benchmade bug out so you can see it's a formidable knife one of the things that got me that i love so much uh, and it's easier to see on the nl is how thick the blade stock is. I love that big fat blade stock. That's not overbearing. It's not a method, but uh, I love that big thick blade stock. Comes down to a fine edge. This one has a little more detail and it's a little tougher to tell, but I love that detail on the spine. Awesome. Right, let's look at one more knife. The uh, Delica. You gotta put the Delica in there. Everybody knows how long that is. So you can see that's a pretty good sized knife. So let's measure some actual measurements. <clears throat> see what we're looking at. We are about three and seven eighths on the blade. And about four and seven eighths on the handle scales. And about eight and seven eighths overall. An amazing, amazing knife. There's been times where I look forward to getting a knife for as long as I look forward to getting this one. And sometimes they're even really good. They just don't meet up to my expectations. I almost had too much excitement about them. This one did not disappoint even a little bit. I love this knife. Um, I wanted it to match my... <clears throat> another reason is to match my Neon Zero. And I've also got the uh, new that just came in, the Neon NL to match my F95, but I'll be doing a review on that shortly too. Kind of an overview, not so much a review. These knives have been reviewed a lot. The F95 Zero, I don't think is, I don't think there's maybe a couple of reviews out there. I know Tom Audison reviewed it, and uh, 5Z in the house reviewed it. So he did a great job. Both of them did. So this is just my contribution, kind of showing off and. Being proud to own it. Uh, the F95 F95 Zero by Shira Goral. Hidden hardware on the clip. One thing they do on the customs is put the lock bar cut out on the inside. And I've said that about a lot of knives. I don't know why they don't do that on most production knives. Uh, there there has to be a reason because it interferes right there where your pants goes and everything. But it it must be a cost or a difficulty thing because they they only do that on their higher end knives look at that back scale <clears throat> that uh, back spacer love it put this up against the neon zero just both really really cool knives i carried i carried both of these today together 
And this, I, I carry this, the neon almost every day, the neon or the neon NL almost every day. I'm, I'm just a super fan. Uh, the hardware is a little simple, but I actually made my own Shirogorov tool. I have the, I've recently purchased them, but I have my own that I like even better. I made it out of titanium so it couldn't scratch the titanium finish, but they're, they're bead blasting. When I, when I saw these, it, it looked like, this one actually looks like it's maybe, I guess it's bead blast as well. Their finishes on their blades, man, are so freaking smooth. It, it looks, in kind of pictures, it looks like a rough stone wash. And that was another thing that kind of turned me off. And then when I got them in hand, I was like, wow, that is really smooth. Uh, they come super sharp. Uh, these are both, I believe, M390. Yep, M390. I mean, you just can't get much better than that. Um, so let's check the weight. Sorry, my scale is a little dusty. 4.9 ounces. Can't beat it. I'm good with that. I'm good with that, especially for the size of that knife. So, anyway, that's my take. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we've got some exciting things coming today. I had a fantastic phone call for those of you in the group. Um, we're, we're about to have a killer sponsor for the group. A very large EDC company. Uh, they're going to be providing some killer giveaway stuff. Um, they're going to be providing discount codes, sales for us, exclusive to our group. Uh, they just seem like awesome people. And I and, uh, had a, probably an hour-long conversation with the, the general manager today. They, they reached out to me, and I said, heck, yeah, we'll take whatever you'll give us. And we, we're proud to have you in the community. So, um we're, stay tuned some cool things are coming so uh you know the more support we have from sponsors the more things we can do in the group and, and grow it and the more things we can do with the channel so it's it's been a fun ride i've enjoyed this channel i've enjoyed my groups uh because of all you amazing guys and it's it's, it's just been fun i'm glad you're all here um guys god bless you and your families say a prayer for our country good night